I am Adu from Argo Names team. I would like to present the latest update on Argo Names vision and build. I would like to cover my presentation in three sections: simple, secure, and soon. Argo Names team's vision is to deliver a simple to use and yet secure Argo Names solution to the community. We are targeting to launch soon without compromising the first two objectives. Let's start with our vision to keep things simple. We want to deliver a simple solution which is easy to understand for everyone. What we want every ergonaut to do is forget about their er wallet address and start using ergonemes for sending and receiving funds. And to make that possible, we have created a simple to use solution by using a ergonemes NFT minting service. and ergo names resolution service balp will give us a demo of these services hello everybody i'm zack probably better known as balb and i'm going to be going over our minting flow so first things first i have a new testnet wallet with 10 testnet ergs in it and i'm going to search for an ergo name that i want to register so i'm going to look up balb And as you can see, that ergo name is already registered, so it returns some information, including the token ID, the current owner, of which address registered it, and the price and date it was registered on. And then I can also explore the address and see what other transactions the address has uh, has done. But now I can also search for a new ergo name, so I'm going to search for Hello Ergo, and I'm going to search for that. And it's not registered, so I'm going to go ahead and register that now. And now the the transaction is built for us, and I just have to all have to do is sign it. Now that it's signed, we gotta wait for it to submit, and then we can track it on the explorer. And there's our transaction ID. I can right click that, open it in a new tab, and here's the transaction. So now that it's confirmed, you can see there's two transactions because Ergo Names uses chain transactions. The bottom one, the 9CA, that is the transaction that we submitted using the front end, and this one, this transaction was built by the back end. As you can see, there's two inputs, one from Ergo Names and one from the user, and in the output there's a new asset, and that new asset is the Hello Ergo um, Ergo Name. And there it is in Nautilus. And here it is in, in its final form. All right, now I'm going to go over um, resolving ergo names and using them uh, within DApps and, and wallets. So first, I have a custom build of Nautilus, and there we have our Hello Ergo ergo name in uh, in this wallet. This wallet is HFYN. It ends in HFYN, and I can go and I can type in Hello Ergo, and it will resolve my address. And there we have the HFYN address, and that is the address that you can send to. But if I want to send to, let's say, Balb, which is another wallet, J it, that address ends in J5TL. Now it's sending to that address. I'm sending one erg. Once I sign the transaction, we'll see it pop up on the explorer. And here it is. It one erg going to the J5TL address. So now I'm going to go over. transferring ergo names between wallets. So each ergo name is a native token on top of the ergo blockchain. So each ergo name you can transfer, you can send and receive just like you can any other asset on, on ergo. You can see that here when I go ahead and I I see first I have ergo hello ergo in the wallet and I want to go ahead and send it. So I'm going to send it to my other address which is resolve using balb and I'm going to add my hello ergo asset. And I'm going to go ahead and sign that. And here it is on the explorer. We have our inputs from my H H F Y N address going to J five T L and one additional token, the Hello Ergo token, is in the transaction. And now the Ergo name is no longer in this wallet. And when I go to resolve, I type in Hello Ergo, and it will resolve to the J five T L address. Thank you, Bell. Let's move on to our next objective, which is to offer a secure solution. We have divided the secure objective into three parts: secure assets, authenticity verification of the token, 
and a future proof solution as ergonims is offered in a nft format it is a layer one solution and it is secured by the miners of the ergo blockchain since the blockchain data is decentralized ergonims data is also decentralized we do not maintain any off chain data and we rely on blockchain to maintain the ergo ship ergonims ownership data so that makes ergonims a secure solution let's talk about authenticity in our v0 solution we had one contract address where the user sends the fund to and then they get the ergonims nft the main the main address in this case was a p2 script address in our v1 solution we changed our approach towards using a two layer contract which talk to each other using chain transactions this leads to the mint address becoming a pay to public key address why this is important is because in the first approach where we were getting a p to sh address it was inconsistent and it depended on which ergo name was getting minted since the p to sh address was changing from ergo name to ergo name it was difficult to differentiate an authentic nft from a fake one because the address was always changing in the new approach we managed to make the ergo name nft mint address to be consistent regardless of which ergo name is getting minted this makes authenticity verification very easy and even a person can do it and we don't need a very complex program for authenticity verification this new approach is also consistent with the artist identity as per eip 0024 and mgpi will explain us more about that hello this is mgpi from ergo names and here is a short segment on nft artist identity so quick background on artist identity standard so this is according to the eip24 artist identity is determined from the first p2pk input from the chain of transactions that led to a creation of the nft and p2pk address is your standard address that you would see in a wallet so if you create a wallet right now using the android app or nautilus you'll see an address and that address you see starting with the 9 on mainnet and starting with a 3 on testnet is a ptpk address so to determine the artist the first input box of the nft creation transaction is examined and if that input box is from a p2pk address then that address is determined as the artist on your front end or whatever is parsing the boxes of your nft else if the input is from a non p2pk address so this is probably from a script address so generally these script addresses don't start with a 9 and it's generally lo really long uh so if it's from a script like address or a non p2pk address then that box that box which is a uh, from a non p2pk address you look at the inputs that made that or that box you were just looking at and the that input of that box the you check the first input of that box and if that box is a uh, is p2pk then it's a uh, it that's the determined artist and if it's a non p2pk address you just repeat this process recursively until you find the p2pk owned box essentially and this can pose as a challenge for nfts minted from a contract since uh, contract uses script addresses so the solution for artist identity for nfts minted via contract is that um you always grab an input from a p2pk wallet so when an ergo names nft is minted the first input will come from our p2pk wallet and since it's only required for identity for identity purposes the value of the erg 
it can be the minimum value create a box which is 0 0.001 erg and in the output of this transaction the erg will be returned back to um our p2pk wallet to prevent our funds from being dried up and possible issues for this arise possible issues that arise from this is that if our p private keys are compromised then bad actors can issue duplicate or forbidden nfts under our identity uh, and the solution to this is to somewhat hinder keys from being compromised by using a multi-sig approach so that the our monomic um our private key is um scattered in multiple places so this is one solution we're still uh, constantly researching this approach um but we know we want a multi-sig approach essentially and yeah that is the segment on artist identity thank you mgpy as mgpy highlighted security of the private key is important in our new approach to solve for this problem we are currently exploring solutions the current proposed solution is to divide the wallet secret into off-chain and on-chain component the on-chain component is then further divided into n parts to recover the wallet from this all of these parts someone will have to combine the off-chain component along with m out of n parts what are we trying to do here what we want to achieve is that no one person who has any of the part can recreate ergo name p2pk wallet what this will do is it will ensure that Ergonave's P2PK is secure and no fakes are created. In addition to this solution, we also need appropriate security of the private key to make the solution work. Ergonave's team is actively working at this and we hope to come up with a solution in upcoming days. Touching up on our roadmap and where we are, we have completed the MVP by having all the key components in the front end, in the back end, and in the wallet. There are some missing parts which would be required for launch. We are planning to start a closed beta soon, and we will also perform load testing in parallel to see how much load in parallel our services can take. Launching our own names is a one-way street. Once we launch it, there is no going back. We will properly test our solution with enough users and only then we will offer the solution to the masses. We want to ensure that what Argonauts, Argonauts get is a solution which is completely bug-free. With that, I would end my presentation. Thank you.